Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome back to another episode here on the Lone Oak Farm um, where we left off last time we were trying to figure out how to work this chicken farming um, mod and uh, yeah, what a story guys I must tell you I've had about the run around from here to Cairo and back um, to figure out how to operate this thing yeah what a story man if the modders that made the mod just um, did the effort to just write a like a, um, a, a manual or just an just a brief description how to operate the thing it would have been wonderful <laughs> my gosh yeah but anyways without further ado let me fill you in on where we are um, it's 10 54 in the morning and uh, let me just bring the speed down to one because while I'm talking I want to uh, not waste our time because there's a lot that I need to do today um, okay so where we are our field 45 is ready for harvest so that's our next job is to put the to put the harvester in there and get get this uh, what did we plant here what was it oh it's wheat wonderful so we're gonna do some uh, straw as well and then field 44 is next let me just quickly go back this screen yes field 44 will be next and then 35 because that's the order we planted in all right so yes uh to fill you in <laughs> it's been some major changes um i first tried uh to to make biogas because this to make pallets you need biogas and wood so the wood wasn't a problem we we chopped some wood and we took it to the to the pallet factory which we set up here at the bottom so if i can quickly briefly show you uh, what it looks like there let us go and visit that area so this is our pallet factory and it's working very nice and i say there's nothing wrong with the mod it works wonderful you chuck your wood in here there's the wood uh, counter this is where the pallets come out this is the pallets being stacked up here we've got 750 pallets already so tons of pallets this is the biogas tank so this factory needs biogas and it needs wood to make pallets why on earth they need biogas i honestly don't know um maybe it's for either for all the air um nail guns you know <laughs> But I mean, air nail guns work with compressed air, not biogas, you know. So, so yeah, and the byproduct of this is, uh, I suppose, wood chips. So, so you can bring your trailer here and, and get wood chips. That's the byproduct of, um, of the, the factory. So, yeah, that is quite nice. Then I've also put the cell point in here. So, if we got an access, um, amount of pallets which i'm sure we're going to have gonna have too uh, uh, too much pallets then you can put it here and then the locals can come and buy or, or you, we, well it actually that's how it works it's a, it's a business so people will come and buy pallets here so that's our sell point so whatever we've got access i'll just drop in there and we sell it uh, so all of this has just been made to run the small chicken farm on our farm so i'm going to show you how crazy uh this actually is <laughs> you're gonna laugh <laughs> okay we had to make the silage because first i try well the silage we just made for extra money um and then i tried the biogas um plant here in the bga i thought i can use the silage to to get biogas there because it's a biogas plant you know it creates biogas from manure and silage so I took the silage up there, just wasted time, because there's no way, no, you just sell your silage there. So <laughs> that's basically just a sell point for silage. That's basically what it is, silage and manure. Then I got another mod, which uses manure or silage. Um, yeah, it's manure or silage to make biogas. Uh, and i thought this is going to be the the answer to it and i placed that little mod here it cost us eight or nine grand to build this little um, it's a small biogas plant 
for, for small farms. Here it is. Very nice little thing. You chuck your manure in here. There's a little light you can switch on here. You just switch it off now again. Uh, come on. And just press R to switch it off. And this side, if you come here, you can open the gates and this is where you chuck your manure in. This is a little bit off the ground because I didn't place it so nicely. I didn't realize that there's a hill there. And when you place this thing, we always look from the top so it's difficult to see. Um, so anyways, it didn't place so nice, but it's nicely tucked away here in the back. So this is a place where we can get some extra money. So how this thing works, um, let me just close this doors. So you chuck your, your manure or your silage in here and it's making biogas and it or automatically sells the biogas to um, to whoever wants to buy biogas. And I think you get about 500 or something dollars, um, is it a minute? I think it's a minute, yeah. So you'll see the money is running up and up and up. And you can see I've got in here, if we put up here, I've got I filled it uh, 113,000 liters. So yeah, it's been using now probably about 20, 30,000 already. And we've I've bought so much stuff. You'll see <laughs> what we had to buy just to get the biogas. Because this thing doesn't give you biogas. It creates biogas, but you can't use it. It just sells it. So you never see the biogas. Then I looked around for mods, and I looked around for mods, and I looked around for mods. And my word, guys eventually I found a mod that can make biogas and in the process of all of this I stumbled on the the refinery as well that makes biodiesel because I was confused I thought biodiesel uh, or the refinery makes biogas so I bought the refinery I chucked all the silage in there Ach, uh, um, I bought a whole load of canola because this thing now uses canola to make what I thought was biogas. <laughs> man, oh man, what a surprise did I get. So yeah, I had to buy, well, I bought two more factories just in order to um, get this thing sorted out. So let's go visit those so you can see them. And I placed this, the only level place on the map that I could find it, where I could place this, was in this spot. And it's over two fields so in future we're going to have to buy these two fields from this poor farmer because <laughs> we've placed the stuff over his field um, he said it's all right he's a very nice guy and i i said to him as soon as we've got some bucks we will buy his two fields so he's very chuffed with that and in the meantime um, we are producing biodiesel on this thing so you already got 10,500 liters of biodiesel here uh, sorry, 3,400. So I don't know, what is that 10,000? What is this? This is biodiesel, but this is fuel. Oh, yeah, this is fuel. So I can tap here 10,000 liters of, of fuel. Or I can use bio biodiesel. Excellent. So this is a whole refinery I bought <laughs> just to figure out how to get biogas. And after I got the biogas, eventually, with downloading this mod, this is a whole biogas plant. Now what this thing does, it uses silage. There it is. Um, oh, let me walk around. It uses silage and it creates biogas. So now eventually I've got this thing. And I think you can... Why is this 3,100 liters in this? I've got no idea what this byproduct is. Garista. Garista. I must check what that is because there's a byproduct here as well that you can sell. But this is the biogas. There you go. We've got 10,000 liters already. Um, this tanker I bought. All of this I've bought with money we made from that little biogas. Uh, uh, that little biogas on the farm that creates biogas from silage. So we've got still left there at the farm. If we go there, we still got one load of silage left. And I'm going to chuck that into, I'm not too sure where I'm going to throw that in. Probably in this little biogas in the back. Because um, that one makes us direct money. 
we've got enough fuel now. Um, we can actually, s I don't know if you can sell fuel. Can you sell fuel on the map? Let's have a look. The BGA. You can sell fuel there for $28. No, that's not fuel. That's not fuel. Here's fuel. You can't sell fuel on the map. What is this stuff here? Is it slurry? Sorry, yeah, that's slurry. Uh, or liquid manure. Um, yeah, what a Marik Marol, guys. It is been um, totally, totally crazy to get this thing to run. And then finally, I needed to find a proper tanker that can transport biogas. Now, I need to show you this. Um, not all the tankers can do that. I downloaded the latest universal technology mod. That little symbol there, that is biogas. So if ever you wondered what the little circle is, that is biogas, guys. Um, so yeah, I've downloaded this um, universal mod pack. And there is some second hand equipment in here, which I quite enjoy, uh, which is quite cheap. Like these tankers were all very nice and cheap. So I bought us this universal one, this one here, the big one. It's a second hand one for nine grand and it's only uh, a second hand one so that one can take uh what's it 30,000 liters of biogas or whatever you put in there i'm going to transport the biogas with that and i want to buy a small one for fuel to bring the fuel to the farm so we can fill up the tractors so we don't have to buy fuel but anyway eventually here is our chickens now there's the water here's the eggs too nice in, nicely on the pallets and this is where you put the pallets and the grain goes in here so our chickens is performing nicely <laughs> look at them laying eggs like crazy so yes so the next step is to actually um, take this chicken uh, the, the eggs I wonder how much eggs will this thing actually handle uh, water empty pallets products Okay, so it's 55%, so it can take about 1,200, I'd say 1,200 eggs, or crates of eggs, watch this little crate, so, so yes, nicely, man, nice. So the next thing to do is to crate, to take all these eggs to the south point, so that we can start bringing in our funds again, because we've, yo, we've spent so much money. And I've, I've loaned, if you can remember, <laughs> we've, we've, didn't max the loan, but I mean, we owe 150 grand now. Uh, so it's 50,000 more that we had to loan to buy all this fancy stuff just to get going, you know. Um, and then I did take one load of silage to the BGA and sold it there. Can't remember, I think we got about 12 grand for that. Uh, well, it wasn't too much. Uh, so I wasn't very impressed with that. We get way more by um, by putting the silage in that little biogas thing there. You get way, 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 way more in selling biogas directly. Great. So yes, guys, that is where we are at the moment. And um, so the next phase, obviously, will be to start harvesting. So let's get stuck into that immediately can't waste any more time this is our first harvest on this um, fields because we finished planting them yeah. okay so let's try and get out of this door in future we will definitely upgrade our um, harvester this is a very small harvester I like it like this holster is not too bad you can put a little bit of a bigger header on it if you want but the problem with the pipe is so short that yeah you're gonna actually run into some trouble with the pipe all right so this is field 45 field 45 fertilized so we haven't got any any uh um there's no uh, course for course play yet are we gonna make one so yes guys welcome man i hope you had a wonderful weekend uh, yeah i had a great weekend 
I relaxed the whole weekend. <laughs> That's why I put such a long episode of uh, Old Oaks on. I had it. I think it's just over two hours session on Old Oaks on, on on the previous video. So yeah, have a look at that as well. That's the one that leads up to this crazy business. Right. I also just to just to show you, I also downloaded the um, what is it? It's the placeable chicken add-on. There's like a chicken add-on that comes in Farming Simulator that you can just add to it. Here it is. It's the chicken pen, fence chicken pen, and then I think it's a chicken farm delivery. The problem with this is um, if you if you put the chicken pen up, you still have to manually collect the eggs, which is quite a mess. You know, you have to manually go there. I quite like this other system where you have pallets <laughs> with eggs of pallets of eggs. So this is quite nice. I really enjoy that. So we're going to definitely, um, definitely be be doing that. All right. So here we go. Uh, this is field forty-five. And that is already starting location current automatic. Let's just go see. Oh, sorry guys. Um, sorry guys, sorry guys. Field 45. We forgot to put some headlands for us. Uh, this is a short. Let's put four headlands because it's a very short or, or small. It's four meters. So four 16 meters of headlands. That's good enough for a turnaround. Good. Let's try it again. Okay, that can work. Nice. Right, so while this guy is harvesting, we can uh, just quickly set the speeds. Make that 16. Uh, what else is there to set? Turn on fuel, definitely. And this one, uh, full level. All right. Oh yes, let's save this. Field. Oh, we got now. Click there. There we go. I'm typing, but nothing's happening. <laughs> uh, harvest, and it's. Four meters. All right. Right. Drive for us. Uh, not at the nearest. At the first. Let me just check if the store swat is on. That's a big must. Oh yes, it looks like it's on. Nice. All right, man. So now. Let us go and get our other tractor with the trailer. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we should swap tractors. Oh, doesn't really matter, but I can just offload the, the front end loader here. So I can pick it up with the other tractor. Good, so let's do that. Nice. Okay, that worked. And it's also, it's like a big mission with this front end loader because you always have to be so careful, you know. Because that thing falls over, then <laughs> you've got a problem, you have to reset it and all that nonsense. Right, so here we go, guys. Exciting, man. Our first harvest. I must say, we remember we're playing on hard mode here, guys. This is not for... Uh, Everything is way more difficult. You get so little um, money in from... What am I doing? I'm talking nonsense and driving through the field like a crazy man. Uh, okay, let me let me park here. I'm going to stop here.
and start creating here for us so what we're going to do empty combine and offload so let's start recording here so we can use this point for both fields right so here we go all the way to the storage all the way yeah oh nice guys got a nice cup of coffee here enjoying that while I'm driving I forgot the trailer is empty. <laughs> I actually wanted to tip. <laughs> Crazy stuff, guys. Oh my gosh. So here we are. I think I'm going to drive a little bit higher up because this will be the weight point, obviously, for the harvester so right you stop here and then we can save this this will be field uh, 44 and 45 44 comma 45 um, grain run here we go nice okay so so what we need to do now, obviously, is reverse a wee bit to get to the last waypoint. Where is he going now? Why is he doing that now? He's going to the first waypoint. Oh my, he's clever, right? That's not the next closest waypoint to the crazy driver let's go here to the nearest waypoint and then just go for um, uh, only harvester that's it there drive okay so then it will stop here oh we must have set the full level the full level we want uh, 80% alright oh, it's already already at 80 nice oh problem now yeah, yeah this is going to be difficult because now he's going to go want to go th through the bushes for this first time the next round he should um, oh, stop 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 what you're going to do stuck in here boy course play normally the first I don't know why it works like that but the first um, the first time around it's always a problem the next one should be okay see okay yeah for some reason the first round course play just goes straight to the harvester instead of following the, the harvester's track or the harvester's route that it driven it just makes sense that it will follow the route you know I mean you can't just drive straight there's always going to be obstacles you know <laughs> so <laughs> crazy things okay so yeah the driver is operational now so we can leave them um, if everything is okay oh they can just this is now 
gonna want to drive next to the harvester. You can just set this to uh, stop during unloading. Yeah. This will help that it will fully offload first and then carry on harvesting. And it also helps the tractor because the tractor will now wait. Right, good stuff man. That's much better. Now the tractor will wait and then it will pull in after the harvester and it will stop behind it and wait for full level to be reached. Good. That's the way we want it. Right. So if we go now to the actual flow, that one. Oh, this one, it says wait until full level is reached. Nice. So that's what we want. Now once, once that harvester has reached full level, it should technically work. It should now drive behind or on the track of the harvester, which should be fine. Oh yes, and I did set up the fuel saving, so after a few seconds of waiting, the driver will switch off, so it will save some fuel for us, which is nice. Okay, so this guy is on 12,000 liters. I'm going to still wait for it, because there is so much to, to go. Right. I must say, this wheat fuel is going to bring us a lot of wheat, guys. Look at this. A lot of straw and a lot of wheat. Alright, so what to do with this load? I think let's go and offload it in the money making bin. So we want to make some money. So we are really running low on bucks. We need to start paying off that loan again because it's a lot of bucks. I think it's about a thousand five hundred a day that we are paying. On, on interest on the loan. I still wanted to uh, still wanted to set my yeah this thing is now high. Of course this is in the air. <laughs> still wanted to set my um, Steering wheel sensitivity a bit. Good, so chuck all this silage in here. Oh, was too close. <laughs> so the only thing I don't really like about this trailer is it's got this flip back, you know. Nice. All right, guys. So took the whole load so now let's just close those doors let's not leave them open what is this looking like now yes look at that you it just 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 fit in there <laughs> that was a good a good round all right so close the doors and let's go and park our truck oh no there's still some left in here I thought it took everything. We might as well empty the BGA or the silage um, pit. Might as well empty it now. Tell you what, this conveyors work so nice, guys. Yeah, so much less work to just run the conveyor than to uh, struggle with a front end loader. I didn't even tell you, I still bought a, um, added a manure cell point to the map as well. Because, um, I didn't realize that that little BGA can take silage <laughs> as a cell thing. So, I also bought, uh, let me just go back, let me show you this, this is quite interesting. I bought this manure cell point, I didn't even know that you can get the manure cell point, but anyways... This is a manure buy point, sorry, not a sell point. And I've placed it here by the by the um, animal 
the auction where they sell the animals where you can buy and sell animals so it just makes sense that there will be a lot of manure around here so here we go so you can buy manure here so you bring your front end loader you oh that's an auto save you park here and you press r while you've got your scoop in the heap and it will fill your scoop and you pay for per scoop you know or per liter oh, i made a little bit of a drop there <laughs> so yes um, also another mod from um from one of the mod sites it's the manure cell point so you just search for manure cell point and there you go got this little manure cell point good man so uh back to the farm let's go back there see how everything is going oh look at that guy is going into the fence it's a good thing we responded because now this driver has gone bonkers again it's the only problem with maps like this you know where fields like this funny shaped field it's got this whole forest in the middle you know i wonder yeah you see can't do much about that because the farm is sort of got this whole field thing here in front as well wonder if we chop out all these trees and plow it I wonder if that's even possible. <laughs> All right. Where is he going now? He's supposed to carry on when he left off. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. He's trying to reach a waypoint. Drive behind combine. There you go. I'm going to set this thing maybe to go at 90. Yeah, let's go 85. It's better. Good. Right. It's a nice trailer, this um, Stewart. I quite enjoy it. Very nice little trailer. This thing can transport pallets. I transport pallets with this thing. <laughs> it's a closed, closed trailer, but it can transport pallets <laughs> you'll never think that this thing can transport pallets guys well i transport wood with it pallets <laughs> so yeah what the crazy and i'm when i'm saying pallets I, i'm talking about the pallets that we're building we're making um let me show you the steward here it is this one you see uh, it can transport pallets <laughs> not all trailers can do that you know um if you look at the normal well mind you they can oh i never knew that uh, this is all the mods let me just go to your normal trailers yeah they can all my word they can all transport pallets anyways i would definitely are going to buy for us this little trailer here as soon as we've got some more bucks because i want to transport the eggs with it um i can't put the eggs in that trailer because you have to throw it in so i don't know how you're gonna because we need to load the eggs like that onto the site so this is a nice little trailer might as well buy it now because i see we've got just 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 enough bucks right so let's do that then where's our other tractor here it is on the planter Let's go and head, head to that, um, oh, let's just have them deliver that trailer for us to the farm. Farm tech, a very nice little trailer. Thanks, guys. Like I always say, these guys are so nice to us because we are their best customers. Well, I suppose we're their, their only customer. <laughs> uh, here we go. Nice, here we go, nice, 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 nice. Ooh, not too much. Ah, oh, now this thing doesn't have a front end loader attachment. Ah, man. Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, it's 11.28. I'm just, I don't want to put the time up now. Where's our other tractors? There's one on the... I know where the other one is, it's at the biogas. 
It's getting swapped in. Mm, that was a nice cup of coffee. Man, guys, you can't be a farmer and not drink coffee, eh? So, yeah, what a story, man. It was quite a story, guys, to, to actually... Gee, whiskers, get this chickens to work. I really hope it's going to be worth the finances that we've put into this endeavor. My gosh, it's been a crazy, crazy... Deep rabbit hole, you know. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna park here. We can s change it later. Just wanna see where we are. 13,000 liters, nice. Let's just leave our tanker here. That's a very big tanker, 30,000 liters. It's actually too big for this small, ooh, small tractor. Oh, I'm gonna drive through the tip of this grass field. Oh my word, this thing's also not got the... Um, doesn't have the front end loader, oh, okay. So I only have it on the one tractor. How on earth is that possible? Don't we have four tractors? Just gonna quickly have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four. We should have four. Oh, mind you, the one is in. Uh, we actually only have three. When you run course play, <laughs> if you set the tractor or any vehicle in course play, it, it creates another one in your in your list. So you think you've got an extra tractor there. It's quite confusing. <laughs> We only have three. Um, all right. I wonder. Let me let's just pull the trailer up there to the to the egg pallets. Maybe maybe it will auto load. That will be wonderful if it auto loads. Imagine that. I know that the pallets auto loads when you bring the pallets. It, it all floats automatically. So you don't have to um, you don't have to offload them, which is quite handy. Okay, I think I just want to change the capacity on this thing. That's what I like about this farm tech trailer. Yeah, it's so versatile, you know. Small jobs like this. Oh, don't tell me. Unload here. Uh, tip side is back, so... No, please, don't do that. So, we're going to have to load this thing manually. Alright, so to do that, we're going to want to... Put this like this, alright. And then obviously customize. Uh, where is our workshop on this thing? I'll just close this. Uh, what is this course up here? Form to buy again, so we don't have that. I was thinking, do we have a workshop here on this form? I hope we do. Yes, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Customize this. Front loader, yes. 800 bucks, that's not too bad. Okay. Nice, all right. We might as well put that attachment on all three of these tractors because I mean they're so handy to have you know when you need them.
Right, so now the proof is in the pudding, guys. I'm so interested to see how much eggs we're going to... There we go, the eggs are full. 1,200 eggs. Right, so now... Uh, how do you open this thing? Open door is zero. It's probably going to fall on our head. Oh my gosh. Open door. Okay, I'll first need to change this tip side again. <laughs> well, not the tip size, the size. So I suppose you need to have it selected as the small trailer to convey pallets, alright. So, Zit brings it back there. Oh, we almost punched a hole into our into our water tank there. Yeah, that would have been disaster, guys. Right. I think we can close this side. Right, so now... I think that's fairly uh, now this is obviously not the correct tool for the job but I hope it's going to work better save the game here just before we maybe break the eggs or whatever I doubt that we're gonna break it but hey you never know guys It's a whole large pallet full of eggs. I wonder how many you can put on this trailer. It looks, by the looks of it, about two. I think that was quite alright. So let us uh, just leave this boy here. Alright, so there you go. And there comes the eggs. Nice. They are laying like crazy, these chickens. Look at that. We really got 83 again. Oh, mind you, I speed up the time a little bit. Um, just to uh, come right. And we still got 120 pallets. And our tractor how full are you 83 percent no this guy is still running straight over the field anyways there's not much i can do about that guys these workers aren't that clever this is the latest cosplay eh? i've updated my cosplay to the latest latest version and uh, yeah, this is, this is basically what you've got to work with. Ooh, where are you going? Oh. It might go better once the headlands are finished, you know. Now oh, this works out quite nice. Um, to set it on 85. Because look, it's just, just been full. Very, very nice. My only problem now is this trailer is going to be full now. And it's going to make a dash for it straight through the woods. <laughs> if you ask me. So yeah, let's see. Ninety-three, ninety-six. 
27, 28, 29, and there you go, full ass. You see, check it. No brains whatsoever. Let's have a look. Yeah. I suppose that's what you have to live with if you work in a field like this, guys. But once the once the headlands are finished, I think it will be much better. Well, what we can actually do now is just our grain storage is here on the farm, so. Um, so we can actually just take a shortcut here, straight straight down at the bottom gate. There's a nice gate here at the bottom, if you didn't know about this. I discovered this, <laughs> this gate by accident there as well. Just by fooling around and driving around. And so yeah, you can get through this gate very nicely. And just take a hike up here. Nice, man. Awesome, awesome. Oh man, we're gonna... Oh, why is this gate closed? I think this gate closed because um, I opened this one here. Yeah. I can actually close that. I tried to go through there with a water tanker, but what a disaster. You can't go through there with a water tanker. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. So now, is our load. Very, very nice. A little bit more, a little bit more. Into the barn. Yes, I think we must look at the wheat prices. Keep an eye on it. And um, let's leave that by, you can carry on. Uh, let's look at the wheat prices. Uh, okay, what is the wheat prices, guys? 354, 359 at Agri. So let us just make a note here. Just want to get the place where I can make a note. So we need to keep an eye on that. Okay, so wheat. Oh, the best price is 3.59, and it's going down there on top, and it's coming up here. It's lone wolf. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get a good, a better, much better price. Um, once this one turns around, we'll see. Good. It's really bad, eh? but it's because we're playing on hard, guys. Look at the prices. I mean beans normally is about two grand. Now it's like nine hundred and eighty bucks. <laughs> but anyways, we will hold on to our fruits and not just sell them. We will definitely hang on to them. And um sell them when the price is right. That's the trick guys. You make much more money if you hang on to your fruit. But you shouldn't be in a hurry to sell anyways. Oh yes, I wanted to have a look at that is a uh, is a whatever this cell biogas. So this you can actually put next to your biogas plant. Um, so if you have access biogas, you can actually make it available as well for the public. So I'm not too sure how this thing operates, but I suppose um, you just put it next to the plant. You can actually so why is it why is it in traffic? Where's the traffic? Huh? What do you mean it's in traffic? It's not in traffic, you weasel. Get out of traffic. I think it turned to shop or something. Let me see, is it now loading? A little bit a little bit too close. Alright. Okay, just 
It's just this, this guy too. It's the only thing with this, it's got such a small little tank, you know. I mean, look at that, it's now full. And I think it's, what is it, 6,000 liters or something like that. Or 6.5 or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, 6.3. I mean, that's pathetic, man. It's a really, really small thing. That's the only, the only issue with this harvester. Look at it now. Look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just help the poor guy off out. That's because the tractor, the, the driver is not here. So we can just set this thing to drive. Now it should uh, carry on. Right, wonderful. Uh, we set four. Um, we made four headlands, so that is now cutting the fourth one. Great. That's our last headland, and then we are out in, out in the clear. Okay, so now let me think. Oh, I wanted to do that biogas thing. Uh, we're gonna go visit there first. Go visit there first. It is go there. Biogas cell point. Yo, this sky is beautiful, guys. It is really awesome. Okay, so here we go. Buy the cell point for one buck. That's what it goes for. I'm just thinking. Hey, stop. Just want to turn it around. I think. I think that. Yeah, that's the pipe connection there. Probably best to put it here. It's the best one dollars I've spent <laughs> today. Uh, twenty twenty thousand liters of biogas, and then um, we still got twenty thousand basically here left. So it used about half half the um, half the, the, the silage to to make. That and remember I've already caught it. I don't know how much I caught it there to the to the pallet factory. How much pallets have we got guys? Let's just check our pallets out. Maybe there's tons of pallets here. The factory is probably standing still. Let's just go there and quickly and have a look. Two thousand pallets. And what's the capacity? It's a hundred percent. Alright, so so what we need to do is take some pallets to the cell point. Where is that cell point? Here it is. How much money do we get? That will be interesting. Ah, oh, you. You must be joking. A thousand four hundred dollars for two thousand pallets. <gasps> you cannot be serious. And how much biogas is there still in here? Two thousand four hundred liters. So I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, is this the deal? I'm going to cut about five thousand liters of biogas there. Uh, sorry, let me just get my foot on the pedal here. So I'm trying to to s sit like a monkey. <laughs> so 
So what I think I'm going to do is let us um, come a bit closer. It's twenty, say nineteen thousand. So let us offload. Fifteen in year. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Right, so that's enough. So there's fourteen thousand liters of biogas. So let's see how much we get now for fourteen thousand liters. So I suppose you pump it into this tank. And this tank is then a sell point for whoever wants to buy biogas in the community, you know, because we've bought this whole factory. Alright, so what do we do? We have to uh, press I. Yes, there we go. Yeah, there it's selling. Wonderful. 14,000 liters of biogas. So how much money are we going to get? By the looks of it, not very much. Much, much better than the pallets. So we had 2,000 pallets. Sold for $1,400. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. At least, this is about 1,000 rand for 1,000 liters, if I look at it. $1,000 for 1,000 liters, roughly. Ooh. Okay, so now we can take um, the rest of this. I'm going to leave this here again. Uh, let it my work. And then we'll take one, one nice load to the pallet factory. So by the looks of it, we will only um, use... We will only use this pallets for a... Where's my other tractor? Here we go. For the chickens. I think that's the best thing we can do. S use the pallets only for the chickens. Because I mean... To, uh, to pay that... To get that kind of income from pallets is... It's a waste of money, man. I just can't believe it's so little. I hope the eggs is not going to disappoint us, you know. Just remember now. Once this trailer is full, two pallets, we're going to see how much <laughs> eggs is bringing in. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we spent some thousands and thousands of dollars. So I really hope that the eggs can at least make us some profit, man some decent profit but we're not doing bad guys look at this our finance is picking up and remember our our other biogas plant is uh, let's take this little bit of silage there as well it's constantly bringing us bucks in we have to drop all this 8000 liters in here I don't know if it's going to fit. We'd better have a look first before we try and empty it or fill it up. Let's just stop here. Open the gates. Oh yeah. Let's someone just have a look. Uh, 104. Yeah, now we can fit. Why did I press the 2 button? <laughs> okay. This time around, I don't want to come too close. There you go. Yeah, just being too close as well. Nice. Okay, guys. So that is sorted out. So now we can leave this. Um, and I think what we can do in the meantime 
is grab our grab our tractor and do some more mowing. And remember all this grass we got in was only from our um, it was from our let me just park this all this grass we got in was from from our sails uh, from our fields before we plowed them and planted them <laughs> guys so wonderful man okay I think um, let us bring that other tractor this one down to the farm we can leave the, the tank here 60 liters you know what we're gonna have to bring some diesel to the farm because we're gonna have to get some diesel in the farm so we're gonna have to buy a diesel a diesel trailer or diesel cart or whatever you call it. I saw there's some nice small ones um, that you can actually just hook on the back of the tractor. I wonder how that operates. Never used that, so it, it will be actually interesting to just see how that works. So let us just park here and then go to uh, the Universal Tech. You see these little things? Oh, look at this. Oh, but this uses the... That uses one of those other things. What do you call it? Not the IT runner, but it uses that other thing. What I'm talking about is this thing. It's 4,000 liters mobile storage tank. But how do you cart this thing around? This one is 2,000. It's four thousand five hundred dollars. Let's buy it and see how it works. I've never used this, guys. So, to me, it will be a, a good experience to figure out how it operates. Just ask the guys to deliver it for us. Maybe it, I've got it. In my mind, I was thinking it it works on the three point on the back of the trailer, of the tractor, you know. So, if it works like that, it'd be wonderful. Got, it's got by the looks of it some hooks on top where it can be hooked there's its little pipe where you caught it with you want to tell me you need an IT runner to to work this thing which has got that hooks on top I can't believe that you need that hey can it be guys how do you operate this ma machine see it's got that same hooks here that the fuel tanker has got on the back so I suppose a telehandler hook so you get this hook for a telehandler but you don't get it for a three point in the back of your tractor universal man it's what it needs maxi telehandler hook you see it needs the telehandler hook oh my word so oh, why doesn't oh man This thing has got that hook on, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to work on that. Several different kinds of containers. Yeah, it's 
Let's look at the second hand one. It's 13 grand. Oh, it's going to take all our money. You. But isn't there like a converter that you can use on the telehandlers? I think there's like a bracket or something you can get. What's this? To use any mod, sees you with all tractors that do not have front loader using the hydraulic lifts available. Okay, so that's for your front end for the three point to work. Here we go, what's this thing? A wheel loader to trailer, that's a wheel loader. Wheel loader, not a telehandler. Uh, I really I really don't think so guys. Uh that's a miscellaneous. Let's look at the telehandlers. Where is the telehandlers? Uh, maybe there's something in that's the wheel loaders. Maybe there's something in their folder, you know. Telehandlers. Front loaders. Let's look at front loaders, maybe. And you see, this is a telehandler that's in here. I don't know why. It might be like some type of conversion thing. Messy, messy, messy. I like this little dozer blade. <laughs> Wonder what you can do with that. Play around with it. Nope. I don't see anything. Anything, anything there. So if we go to telehandlers, tethers, wheel loaders, slurries. So where is the telehandlers? Here we go. No, that's a skit. Here we go. Telehandlers. Nice. Is there any like adapter or something, guys? Oh my word. Please tell me there's something. Nope, there isn't. <sighs> okay. Okay, so let's give that thing back. Okay, Roger. So let's stupid it down there. I don't want to buy so we lose a bit of bucks but it's alright so let's just buy it another universal tanker um, a small one where's the mini there is a mini here the mini for 7 grand it's 10,000 liters that is lots and lots and lots of fuel we will ride on that for many many moons all right let's just have it delivered mini 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 is this the mini that's the mini thanks guys for the delivery oh nice did it fall on the tractor <laughs> it almost looked that <laughs> almost looked like it did luckily it didn't okay oh yeah So we can bring some fuel to the farm and we can park this here on the farm and all the tractors can be filled up. Nice. I think that's quite awesome guys. Nice, very nice. quite a bumpy road then again former Bob is in a hurry <laughs> driving like crazy I must say this tractor's got quite nice mirrors look at the mirrors they are awesome right fuel I don't want biogas I just want gas or diesel rather so Let's just go outside so we can have a look. I've never loaded here, so this will be the first first time that I come and load up. Oh, that's a bit skewed from the bomb.
There you go. There you go. It's going to fill this tank to the brim. <laughs> Wonderful, man. Now it will be nice if I can just park this on the farm somewhere and just drive past it with the tractors and fill up, you know. That will be the, the best thing to do. Tip side is right. Let's make the tip side... Well, we'll see when, when we place it. Which side? Which side we can have the tip side? Okay, man, awesome. So let's find this. I know there is a diesel tank on the farm, <coughs> but that's one where you buy from. It's one of those normal diesel tanks where you actually, when you fill up there, you buy. So this diesel uh, that we've got here now is, is biodiesel. It's much, supposed to be much cheaper than, than the than the ones that you buy there so let's have a look if I can place this somewhere and we can just do a drive by and fill up you know it will really be nice so I'm thinking how much space is there in here in the workshop there's a nice spot here right there you can just drive through here and fill up on the left if one tip side oh but that doesn't probably it's just the tip side so it doesn't really matter so what I want to do is try and get you oh no not that way this way as deep in as possible and then do it lock like that now let's see if we can fill up from it don't think it will work like that nope you see so you need to have it connected to a tractor and then you can oh sorry man turn on universal mini what? You have to turn it on. What happens when you turn it on? Oh my. Turn off universal mini. Since when do you have to turn it on? I never knew you have to turn it on. Anyway, let's just go fill up the truck and see. If this is the way we have to do it, then yeah, then that's it. The best is to go here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You have to now drive with the truck past it. to now drive past it with the truck five hundred and three liters in the truck so let's have a look I 
why is it not working guys open cover tip site on the right I'm not too sure now. What did it say there? Repair. Oh, we don't want to repair. Oh my word. So I hate to be up these things, you know. They don't always work. Does this thing even? I know this fuel tank, yeah. I know this thing works. You see, if you park here, you can press R to refuel, but then you pay for it. So now. find a way that we can refill fuel station right let's see take this guy to the fuel tank but I, I, I just know it's not going to work there yeah, it's the only way you can find out is to fiddle about you know so I don't want to fill my tractor now because I've got so much fuel in the tank right behind me, man. <coughs> Darn it. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, boom, dip side. Better just. Oh, that other 1455 is in traffic. And just park here. Let's go and have a look what's going on there. Made some mistake there again. How's that? <laughs> Just pushing it out of the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's just make some space for it. No common in reach. You think? We've oh, got it in reach. I mean, there's no full one. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so, uh, how much X are we halfway there? 
Uh, this is annoying guys, this is totally, totally annoying. Oh, so where can we sell the diesel? So if we want to sell this diesel now. Diesel, here we go, nobody sells, nobody buys. So if I go to my mods, uh, biogas cell point, pallet cell point, so that's not it, biogas storage, so there's no cell point for fuel, you see guys this is what's really annoying you know, now I've got this old tractor full of diesel and uh, I can't use it you just see maybe the tractors work better worth a try guys so I'm just fiddling about you know that's the old story there was if I remember if I remember there was only one tanker that actually worked um, Oh, let's leave this here for the pallets. So now, what do we do with this whole tank full of fuel? Ah, what do we do with it? What do we do with it? What do we do with it? Can't connect it up there again. And reset. Ah, man, this is annoying. Oh my word. Ah, what to do? 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 Let me just save and quit. I will be back. I will be get back, guys. I'm just going to check if there's another mod for a fuel station or something. Well guys, this is the end of another episode. And uh, I hope you had as much fun as I did, guys. And thanks for joining in, man. I hope to see you for the next episode. And if there's anything that you can suggest, or maybe I did some stupid things, <laughs> leave comments for me. I would love to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, man. And we'll see you next time. Uh, take care, man. This is Farmer Bob saying cheers.